Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I first want to start off by saying Merry Christmas and Happy, happy, happy Holidays uh, to all you guys here. Um, I am releasing this video uh, basically by the end of 2021. And um, I know I'm not the only one that thinks this, but it's been a crazy year. Um, I hope you guys are hanging in there. Now, I did want to make this video at the end of 2021 to kind of... I don't know, just kind of bring everything back together and kind of talk about, you know, future plans for 2022. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys achieved uh, the goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year. Um, and if you didn't, it's okay because I failed at many things too. Uh, but I also achieved other things that I've wanted to do for years so, now. This is actually the video after the coilover install. You guys can kind of see a more daylight view of how it sits. And I did kind of want to talk to you guys about the build plans for all the three Mitsubishis. Um, when it comes to the VR4, we'll start with this one. Um, it's been, well, the newest build in the channel. Um, but I feel like it's the one that's actually progressing the fastest. I do want to change out the exhaust really, really soon. I also need to go ahead and replace these rotors and brake pads on the car. It's been sitting for a while. Now, when it comes to the interior, um, I do want to change out to black carpet. I do want to change the panels, the seats, and everything out to black to match the DSM. Air fuel ratio and boost gauge on the car. Probably change out the radio, the shift knob, e-brake handle. Uh, when it comes to the engine bay, the intercooler piping, changing out the blow valve, changing out the air filter. Of course, besides that, the paint to get rid of, you know, all the damage dents and scratches everywhere now when it comes to the dsm um, i did go ahead and buy another front bumper to go ahead and get rid of the super old uh license plate frame holes um, i bought the car with a cracked bumper and damaged bumper here it's still an original paint and while it has dents and scratches everywhere especially this one right here and i do want to kind of you know bring this thing back to life as far as paint as far as the interior goes, it's pretty much complete, honestly. Has the seats, has the cage, has the black leather interior and carpet. I do need to clean it. Um, carbon shift knob, all the gauges, the carbonetics, airbag delete, the Miguel DSM air freshener, <laughs> the dash. Um, it's pretty much done. There's not really much needed here. Um, as far as suspension, I do want to go over to some reaction coilovers and upgrade that super soon. So expect a video on that. Um, and that goes for the Evo as well. We're going to be changing out the wheels, fenders, uh, coilovers. Um, as far as engine bay goes, it's pretty generic. Nothing really done. Um, it's full bolt-ons on 85. Do need to refurbish the valve cover. Maybe change out the blow valve. Um, get rid of this run a better manifold just bring this thing back to life make it look somewhat more like the DSM now when it comes to interior um, possibility that I might be doing a different steering wheel I don't want to keep these stock Recaro seats in the car um, I feel like every Evo has them which they do but I don't know I kind of just already got over them um, and of course I do want to run a half cage this time if you guys know I remember I used to have a full roll cage in this thing um, and the front wasn't really necessary so I probably will just run a half cage back here. So that was it for the recap when it comes to the mods for all the car builds. I'm just here for the constant progression and betterment of the cars and myself as a whole when it comes to me making videos, cinematics, abilities with working on cars. Um, that's kind of what I get out of this personally uh, when it comes to YouTube videos. One, it puts me out of my comfort zone. Um, taking the time to record everything when it comes to cars, um, recording myself in front of people, taking the time to edit this stuff, taking the time to post this all over social media, and of course staying consistent, which I believe is the hardest thing to do. But I came to the realization that the only way you're gonna achieve anything you want in life, um, whether big or small, is gonna come through consistency. So I kinda did wanna make this segment of the video to talk about yourself, you guys watching the video, and your personal goals, not just for 2022 and not just because um, it's the end of the year. And you already know how that whole like New Year's resolution thing goes where you're just like, oh, I'm gonna join the gym, I'm gonna do this. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of to come back here and let you guys know that I hope you guys do have set expectations for yourselves to improve in some way or another. And I do want to mention, letting you guys know that I know it's not easy right now with how times are. Um, it's been a crazy two years since this whole pandemic started. The best thing you can do, I feel like, is to just focus on yourself and, you know, again, get to the gym, 
uh, work on your hobbies, work on your passion, you know, whatever it is that kind of keeps your mind busy and away from all those distractions, I feel like it's essential right now in time. If you feel like you're in a drought or you're a little bit depressed, and that's okay too, man. And a lot of people are going through it. Um, just seek help if needed. I feel like that's very important to mention. And honestly, I feel like even though it kind of sucks at times, I do find myself enjoying this a lot. You know, I like doing this. I have fun with it. I like documenting all the car builds. I like, you know, sharing, you know, the wins and the losses when it comes to the cars because I know a lot of people can relate to that because it happens to them just as much, if not more. Now, when it comes to the other cars, such as the white Turbo 428 Eclipse, um, currently still waiting for the machine shop to finish up the block. The head is already done, so we don't have to worry about that. But I do plan on... Uh, bringing that thing back to life and then probably selling it off as I don't really see myself keeping two eclipses I know I've mentioned this before um, But I do get questions about that white eclipse every once in a while So um, in due time hopefully in 2022 I do have that car up and going and probably you know sold or something when it comes to the Porsche shell as a whole That's a whole nother video. Honestly, it's so much that happened with that car <sighs> When it comes to that Porsche man, it's just um, a lot of promises were made with that car and nothing really ended up happening so I took it as a lesson to kind of start doing things on my own and kind of you know to stop depending on others as a whole. That's a big lesson I learned this year. So honestly I do see myself probably selling that shell off. Um, if nothing's going to get done it never is so I might as well just free up that extra cash and put that towards the other cars to make them look you know 10 times better instead of the Porsche just sitting there and you know hopefully one day being built. Don't get me wrong I would still want a Porsche without it without a doubt but um not now in the very present maybe in the future one day i could probably get another one and build one uh but right now i do feel like i need to focus on the evo vr4 and dsm as a whole they all have flaws that i need to work on things that i need to upgrade and things that i need to change and obviously you know diversifying all the money between all the cars well it doesn't really help um it's best to focus you know on you know essentially one car would be best but um Owning three Mitsubishis is a very expensive hobby. I'm sure if you own Mitsubishis yourself, you know how expensive this could be. It's just the weird love I have for them. They're not really the popular brand or cars to go for. They're kind of more on the low key side, um, which is okay because it kind of, you know, when you see one around, it's always dope to see them and you appreciate them a little bit more. So as far as right now, I was gonna go hang out with Marissa and help her with the uh, turbo, not the turbo, the 428 clip she has at her garage. <laughs> God damn. Babe. Bing bong. Come on. <laughs> We're working on a car. Okay. What are we doing to it? Timing. All this timing, okay. You know what you're doing? Mm -mm. We're gonna go ahead and put cylinder one in top dead center. Um, we already turned the crank a bit to have the timing keys there matching. Um, and then you're supposed to put the timing belt from the bottom up, then around from the right. She's ready. Hold it. You know, going back now. Uh, it's stuck. Oh my god, come on, you There you go. Oh my god, I almost got shanked. Wow. <laughs> Why are you trying? Well, it's good. Damn, who got those for you? My future husband. Oh yeah? Who's that? Thank God. Maybe you heard of him. Cool. Yeah, Miguel. Miguel, his name is Miguel. Miguel. Oh, he's kind of cool. I heard about him. Mm -hmm. He has some cool cars on. No? Yeah, when they're running, they're pretty cool. They're all running right now, though, from what I heard. Mm. Not for long. <laughs> can't get it in. You got it, buddy? Ah, oh, there it is. There you Sorry, go. I don't have much experience. Then you shouldn't be touching a motor. Wrong way! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your goals for the Evo for 2022? Where the hell are all the bolts at? Um, my plan? Yeah. Is to get as many spots as I can so I can actually build it for once. <laughs> it's been sitting for how long? Couple months. Couple months. And what's wrong I mean, with it? It doesn't sit, sit technically. It I'm still runs, but. Garage, barely. Oh my goodness. Yesterday my freaking gear got stuck. Yeah. I couldn't get it out of gear and it was trying to slam into the, the garage wall. We basically have to pull everything out of it, huh? Uh, yeah. And then refurbish everything. Get a new clutch and flywheel. And then what about the car right here? 
What about what car? Do you plan on getting it out for 2022 or is it going to sit in here all day? <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> we haven't touched it in a while, but the timing's done. Um, we got the alternator, uh, the crankshaft pulley, and the belt on. Uh, we pretty much had to put it inside the car and get this thing running ASAP so that she could clear out the garage, clean everything out, and then officially start on her Evo. You guys let me know what you guys plan on doing for 2022 in the comments below um share with everyone here in the comments, in the comments below in the comments. towards the end of 2022 you could actually come back and see your comment and see if you actually achieved um those specific goals that I you didn't. set for yourself so no, why you gotta be so negative for i'm being optimistic optimistic yes <laughs> she'll get it done i'll make sure anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope you guys do enjoy your new year celebration with your I loved ones know. I'll see you guys in next year in the next video. Like, yes, comment, here. subscribe. Oh it's God, 20. It's such a long time. It's 2021 yeah, right now. Your followers wait that long? Like three days. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Yes.